Carly Meehan here, a former sparring partner of Audley Harrison, who went on to win the Olympic gold medal. He was with Meehan in the build-up during his time in Sydney. Williams, the British and Commonwealth champion, defending his Commonwealth crown here in the black trunks. For Crickson, a big right hand puts Meehan down within the opening seconds. And Meehan looks in a bad way already. Is he going to be able to carry on? Terry O'Connor says, get your gloves up. What a start. There's another one. It's all over in double quick time. Oh, what a sizzling performance from Danny Williams. It's over. It's all over. And both times he threw the right hand to do it from that dislocated right shoulder of eight months ago. No doubt about that. <laughs> he wasn't worried about the right hand at all, as if to prove a point. It was a right hand that did all the damage. And didn't he do that in style? Looked so quick when he delivered that first punch, which just obliterated any chance that Carly Meehan had. It was all over on our clock in 22 seconds just 22 seconds and Danny Williams returns after eight months sensationally to knock out a man who was unbeaten in 23 fights just toying with a jab little gap and really threw everything he had no doubt about throwing that right hand no worries about throwing it he gave it everything well, he had laser surgery, keyhole laser surgery on that shoulder, and I'm told it's all welded together, and it's as good as new now. <laughs> well, you better ask me and how good it is. Whatever they fixed it with, they well and truly fixed it. But I think mentally, what's good for Williams there is the fact that, you know, he went out there so positive, very different to anything we've really seen from Williams before. When to get the job done, really meant everything with that punch. OK, Danny Williams wasn't beating a world-class fighter there. He was beating an unbeaten one. It was the positive way in which he did it. I've always thought about this young man. He might need a psychologist as well as a trainer. But I think he's got bags of ability. And might this be his time the next couple of years? I think after Julius Francis, that's a fight he ought to win if he's going anywhere. They've got to let him loose with a name heavyweight. 